Okay, it's November 8th. Um, went to school here <laughs> when I was a kid. So, um, yeah. So, an hour before work, a couple hours before work, decided to go dig in. Nice day. Snow hasn't come yet, so I want to get in all the time I can. First find was, looks like a heart key to something. Maybe, a, I don't know, alarm clock or something. Who knows? But there you go, my first find. 10 4 over and out. Okay, I'll make this quick. Don't want to waste all my time videotaping. Found an American penny. It's in really good shape. So there you go. It's in the 2000 sometime. 10 4 over and out. Okay, first I'm going to say something about all these masks that are blowing everywhere now. Just disgusting, man. Uh, Kleenexes used to gross me out, but now there's masks everywhere. Everywhere. There's one over there. Oh, man. So anyways, found something that's kind of ironic. Life. <laughs> okay, 10-4, over and out. Okay, so I think this is my very first American nickel. Well, maybe not, but... Solid 70. Yeah, like I said, Garrett machines are made for the American coins, man. Oh, that's a cool one. Yeah, that's a cool one. Uh, not knowing all my American presents, I'm not even going to say who that is. Because I don't know. But either way, cool. Cool nickel. 10 4, over and out. Another penny. Uh, I found another one after I didn't record that one, so this will be my third. They all have been American pennies. So three American pennies, a nickel, that heart, and that life thing, and a bunch of masks everywhere. <laughs> uh, chin diapers, I guess you would call them. 10-4, over and out. Okay, I'm just gonna... Those are the numbers for our Canadian nickel. Here it is. 1977. Awesome. 10 4, over and out. Hey, okay, found something interesting. Don't know what it is yet. I'm gonna just get a reading for my records. Solid 85, 86 basically. Uh, there it is right there. Ooh, that's interesting. That's interesting. MK might go something. I'm assuming it's just junk. Hope for gold, but I doubt that very much. Um, don't see any hallmarks, and it feels very light. Looks like it came off a jacket or something. It's probably a fashion name or something. Anyways, okay. Another cool find, I guess you'd say, but junk. 10-4, over and out. Okay, so I found uh, a dime. Yippee. <laughs> Things are getting better. Canadian dime. 10-4, over and out. Okay, found that dime there. Scanned just down the line. And there might be a little coin still, because there's a nickel. 2004, I believe it says. Yep, 2004. Cool. Diamond and nickel right beside each other. 10 4. Good day so far. Finding lots of cloud. There's another nickel. <laughs> Go figure. Always whining and crying about not finding dimes and nickels, and today I'm finding a whole bunch of them. So I guess the metal gods are listening to me. <laughs> 10 4, over and out. Yeah, hey, I found a ring today. Definitely a junker. The letter J, that's cool. That's my initial for my name. <laughs> Try to guess what it is. Um, there you go, junkie ring, 10-4, over and out. Yeah, I guess I'll record everything to make a show here. I uh, found another penny. Cool, find lots of things. Here's all my pock marks. There, 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 there. <laughs> 
Ten four. Over now. Okay, up. got an hour of a two hour dig. Uh, moved on to the grass where again I went to school here and we used to have smoke breaks out here. And I guess I found a penny. That's about it so far. Ten four over and out. Okay, so right there was the first penny. Nice clean hole. Can't even tell I was there. And there's one right there. Two pennies side by side. Too bad they're not quarters or, or loonies or toonies. Here's that. 69. Uh -huh. That's the year I was born. Cool. Maybe that's a good sign. 10 4 over and out. Okay, I moved to one more park on the way to work. It's a pretty big play area here. I'm almost done here, I gotta go to work and had a good signal or decent signal bouncing all over the place. And it's a quarter. So most likely be my last video of the day. Sun's in my eyes, I can't see what year it is, but quarter. Cool, 10 4, over and out. Okay, I'm gonna do my wind up for November 8th. Today is November 13th, Friday the 13th. Ch -ch -ch. I got Jason here with me, and let's go through my finds for November 8th. It was a two hour dig before work. I got a quarter, one Canadian dime, three Canadian nickels. I got this 2008 Denver Mint Jefferson American nickel, which is pretty cool. I don't have any of those. I got 11 pennies that day. Um, the ones that are in good condition are the Americans. The Canadian ones are all crusty and rusty. I got this piece of lead that is pretty heavy. I liked it because it was pretty heavy. It's flat on one side and bubbly on the other side. So I'm gonna use it as a display item for my die cast or put a jet airplane on it or something. So let's go over here to the trinkets I got. Uh, Michael, Michael Knorr handbags for women. He also has a jewelry line I know. And then beside that is a heart with a little point at the end, which I assume is for winding up an alarm clock or some kind of other thing, heart, you know, keto heart to someone's heart for maybe Mother's Day or Valentine's Day or something like that. And I got another junk ring with the letter J on it. That's all right. And I got this thing, which I thought is a clip of some kind where you push it and it opens, but it doesn't. So it's got some little stones on it and a star i don't know what that's from it doesn't really have anything to latch onto and i got this little thing that i found that could be from a necklace i thought it was all banged up but it almost looks like it was built like this i thought there was some writing on there so i cleaned it up with more baking soda and vinegar and a toothbrush and took my jeweler's loop and i was unable to read what would have been on there so then i got this little thing with life on and then I got those three pieces of junk there possibly a belt buckle on the right uh, dog leash clamp clip whatever you want to call it and some star so that was it uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I'd like to thank everybody for watching my first season of metal detecting I had a blast there will be a year-end wind-up of all my finds explaining my finds and and what I gave away and everything and how much of a good time I had. So there you go. I'm going to end, end this without having to ramble on like I usually do. And I'm going to say thank you for all my subscribers, all my support, all the kind words. Everybody that just watches, I appreciate that too. So 10-4, over and out.